Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac. We're in a random. <sighs> okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Blue Baby's an interesting. Uh, it's an interesting yet fickle beast, isn't it? Especially on an XL floor. There's great. St wow, that's very lucky. Uh, that less so, but hey, it does beat the poop. There's some interesting stuff going on with Blue Baby. One of the things I'm very hopeful for. I guess my poop disappeared there. That sucks. Uh, one of the things I'm very hopeful for is that we stay above three spirit hearts. And as a result of that, we find ourselves in a position where I might be able to snag, like, two... Well, I guess you'd have to have, like, above six. No, you'd have to have above... I don't know, okay? <laughs> I think to get a free deal with the devil, you have to still have the capacity to have paid full price for the next item that you take. So if you take one item at three spirit hearts, I think you still have to have three left over to act like... Or to seem like you're at least qualified to pick up the item to the game's engine. Anyway, if everything goes exceptionally well, we can maybe steal some deal with the devil items. Either way, though. Oh, you know what? We could just do it by walking into the fire. Okay, I feel like I'm having like all these epiphanies all at once. It's been a long day. NLSS, previous Isaac episodes. I'm hoping my brain isn't turning to mush uh, any more mushy than it already was, at least. But before we start worrying about all these, oh, high-level tactics, stuff like that, we actually need to A, not get hit so that we can maintain our spirit hearts, and or B, get more spirit hearts dropping so that hopefully, you know, after taking a deal with the devil, we can survive and not find ourselves, like, completely screwed over. So I'm gonna be trying to use Mr. Boom very effectively to, uh, find secret rooms, maybe? We do get, oh, I almost bunged that up pretty hard. Uh, we do get one Mr. Boom charge every two rooms, which is pretty huge. We'll see if we want to handle that accordingly here. Steven. Steven is tricky. I would use Mr. Boom here. That seems to have worked out very well. I wonder if we can actually kill the little one first and have a better chance to get the damage upgrade. Although, to be honest with you, I kind of consider the like six of one, half a dozen of the other. At this point. I used to much prefer uh, the damage upgrade, and I still do prefer the damage upgrade. I just don't think it matters that much. I say we fight our boss right away. Let's do it. The odds of us getting a, um... Oh, come on. Stick around. Yes! The odds of us getting an HP upgrade from this boss are very solid. We get the HP upgrade. Manage to steal a deal with the devil. Everything could turn up Millhouse here. Seriously, though. One of you's gotta die. Like, right now. Otherwise, I don't trust our, uh, ability to kinda stay alive here. Or stay without getting hit, at least. Ooh, that was a nice little nifty move on your part there. We did it! We got meat. This is doable now. Come on, work with me. I'll take anything. Mom's knife, sign me up. Yes. So, he here's how I think it works. <laughs> uh, forgot to mention, I'm supposed to have the Polaroid first. All right. Still, hey. We got meat, that's like an offensive bonus for us. Plus, we, uh... Let's check for the secret room here. Uh, we got the Pact, which didn't cost us very much. Thank God we actually got to test it on the Pact instead of something that, that didn't give us any extra HP back. So, uh, our, our damage and tears are gonna be augmented fairly nicely, and we still have a good amount of, of health. Which is something that is not necessarily guaranteed. In fact, I'm feeling like we're very, very strong for the enemies we're coming across on the basement here. I'm very excited about that. I'm so excited, in fact, that I'm not even going to use uh, Mr. Boom to kill you. Two of clubs. Very interesting. Could be uh, very useful as a long-term investment. Uh, maybe that wouldn't have worked to find the secret room anyway. Sometimes I'm a little iffy about how that whole thing actually shakes out. Oh, that's going to be so good to use with Mr. Boom. We can maybe even find a secret room along with it. I'm feeling very good about this run so far. Oh my god, this two of clubs is going to be incredible. And we don't even have to use the two of clubs right away because we can um, just use Mr. Boom to accomplish all of our bomb needs. But I really want to find the secret room so that I can actually uh, get enough money to go to the item. Or sorry, the shop, I guess. Little Chub is a good pickup for us here. Really augments our damage, helps things along quite a good. Quite a good. That's how you know it's been a long day. Helps things along quite a good. That is indeed the secret room. We got Unicorn Horn out of it. Yeah, we'll take it. I have to. Because I feel like uh, Unicorn Horn, if we come across a Blood Bank, is going to be super useful for us. 
if for no for no other reason than as a way for us to generate um, money, right? Mr. Boom is good, but it looks like our bomb situation is going to be sorted. I thank Mr. Boom for all that it's done for us in this run so far. Sincerely, um, as a result of Mr. Boom, we were able to save bombs, which combined with his two of clubs card and some really lucky generation is going to give us like 30 bombs the next time we want to use it. We got balls of steel out of that too. That's a huge pickup for us. And I'm leaving this floor. Well, I'm, yes, I'm leaving this floor with hope in my heart. Hope of a brighter future. Hope of a sharper tomorrow. A tomorrow where we pick up the Polaroid eventually and then can steal deals with the devil the way that I, I freaking intended when I tried to take the pact. But that's okay. I wonder if we could do it with... Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> like, if that had been something good, I would have tried for it. But because it was the Necronomicon, I'm not even going to try for it. But it's possible that in the future I will try to use uh, the Unicorn Horn to steal a deal with the devil. That is, unless we have, like, Book of Revelations in here. Which we don't, but we have Book of Shadows. Let's tr take this. Yeah, I feel great about that. And, uh, did we use Book of Sin? We must have. It just probably gave us that pill, you big dummy. But yeah, I prefer Book of Shadows because it's, uh... I think it gives us a much longer period of invincibility. Now, again, I don't know if this would actually help us steal the deal with the devil, but I think it would. Maybe. Sure. Our bomb situation is so good that I'm gonna keep, you know, piling up those synergies. Now, we're not gonna use Book of Revelations unless the boss is super difficult, which it isn't really. Now, I know, uh, I could have popped two of clubs there, but I think we'll still stay in the game just by waiting on it. Okay, come on, come on, come on. There we go, that's what I'm hoping for there. Now, really harp on one until it dies. Thanks to the pact, we have the speed necessary to get away. Stop taking damage, this is an important part of this plan. Oh, jeez. You have to have the spirit hearts in order to do this. I should have used Book of Shadows or more bombs. Whoa. Alright, I regret that decision almost immediately. I thought that that wouldn't take any spirit hearts away. That's my bad, but at the same time, we have nine lives. Let's learn to live with it. We did not become Guppy on the last run as much as I would have liked to. Want to pick up some more bombs before we start looking for our secret room, going to the shop, stuff like that. Uh, because I want to... Uh, you know, get the most out of my two of clubs doubling here. Still pretty good, but I used a few. Might not have that chance, though. So I'm very disappointed with the way that I fought against the Fallen, but I guess in the end, it didn't really matter. Not to accidentally quote Lincoln Park or anything, but we uh, lost all our HP when we picked up nine lives anyway, which I'm actually not that salty about. Could end up being an okay decision. I am, I am going to, yes. All right, could have been better. And I'm gonna come in here because if it's a guppy item, I need to know. And we found our secret room by accident. Which is great and almost gives us enough money to make, oh, it gives us way more than enough money to make that shop worthwhile. What am I thinking? Now, Book of Revelations maybe? No, blue candle. How many times in a row can I get rid of our spacebar item? I still think this is the right decision. It might not let us steal deals with the devil, but our damage is so good that I don't really care. Now, how do we win this freaking run? Well, we gotta get some spirit hearts somehow. That's probably gonna manifest itself as... Hopefully a free miter or relic coming up sometime soon. Because now that I've paid 15 cents for this uh, blue candle, I really don't want to give it up. That's balls of steel or health up. It's the lesser of the two, in this case. That's okay. Now, uh, from like a... Oh, that was the greatest little chub shot of all time. But from a uh, an offensive standpoint, we're in such a great position. Some of our damage is coming from Samson's Lock, but apart from that, you know. Little chub, blue candle, pact, meat. We've got some really good stuff going on on our side right now. From a uh, defensive standpoint, really low on HP. We've also got the guppy things in our favor, so we can sacrifice our lives very easily and, and come out ahead. Which might mean that we won't need to get spirit arts. We could put ourselves in a position, actually, where, you know, we're just doing so much damage that it really doesn't matter whether or not we have HP, because we can win on a, a spirit heart or, or two. Not sure we're at that level yet. Pageant boy. Well, we can't reroll it, so we'll pick it up, but first... 
check what we got in here. Am I wrong to say that it's like totally okay to kill myself to pick up the mark here? Oh, we just can't. That sucks. That's okay. We got a nickel out of that, so our shop could be worthwhile. It's very close. Um, that's disappointing, but in a way, we might have also given ourselves a path to a deal with the angel. Although, I think now that we've taken a deal with the devil, our precedent doesn't exist anymore. Or the, the precedent for a deal with the devil does exist, which means we can't get one. Maybe. I don't know. Probably not going to look for a secret room here. Those bombs are nice. Maybe we will look for a secret That's Balls of Steel, isn't it? No. It's full health. <laughs> That's substantially better. And I would totally go and pick up the mark, honestly, if we can get back into that deal with the devil. All right, let's end this shenanigan here. Well, we'll wait and see if we get, uh, you know, uh, another bomb drop here, which we do. So I feel pretty good about that. Then we'll pop it. There we go. 28 bombs. 28 homing bombs, if I do say so myself. Pretty good haul this early. That's going to help us out. There's our money situation sorted. Still need to find a way into the shop. With this amount of spirit hearts. Uh, come on. Really? Uh, but with this amount of spirit hearts, I don't know what that was doing. Uh, I can go to our curse room, and I think we have to, if we're going to continue on the guppy track here, which is pretty important to me. I know that's going to cost us the spirit heart that we could have used to pick up the mark, but I think it's worth it to try to, you know, get that guppy situation figured out. Come on. Spirit hearts or less than three. Spirit heart. That's acceptable. You know what? Because our pills are so good, goodbye Samson's lock. We're going to be rolling with uh, safety cap from now on. Have we even seen our shop on this floor? Is this like a Curse of the Darkness and Curse of the Lost type thing going on? Where do we come into this floor from? Oh, okay, there's our shop. So, there is like absolutely no way that the secret room would border it, I think. That's balls of steel. That's real nice. Uh, so we can't get in there. That's fine. I can live with that. Kind of sucks. But we're in a great position in some respects regardless. Not being able to go to our item room is also pretty bad. I totally forgot about that part of the whole plan. No deal with the devil after this. Okay. I really wanted to be able to pick up the mark again, but so be it. Oop. Okay. Most important thing. What did we learn from the last floor? We have to stay above three spirit hearts. If we don't stay above three spirit hearts, we can't do any of the uh, shenanigans as previously mentioned, or even take deals with the devil. That's not even shenanigans. That's just normal gameplay. Now, we're very lucky to find our boss room right off the bat, which means we should have a good chance at uh, picking up the item. I feel like a, an idiot right now. Yep, yeah, I feel real dumb. Hopefully we get HP from this boss. We are on Necropolis, right? Necropolis is no joke. But at the same time, I should not be taking so much damage. That felt super good. We got the pentagram. And no deal with the devil, so maybe we didn't miss out on too much. But it still is disappointing. Because I would like to get up to show some shenanigans. And, you know, losing spirit hearts here, we didn't just lose them here. It's not HP to be replenished, you know. We cost ourselves... A spirit heart lost here is a spirit heart that we don't have for the late game. Red hearts, you can, you know, typically pull them back. If you give yourself enough time, at least. Uh, spirit Heart's very, very different. So, probably should have been dead there. Uh, probably still should be dead. I don't know how much health we respawn with when we respawn. I think it'll probably be one. But if it's three, then I don't mind losing a life so much. I'd still rather not. Oh, I botched it. That could have been real bad. Instead, ended up being just normal bad, which is okay by me. No greed. Not greed. All right. Mom's purse. Pretty good for us. We can keep safety cab with us. That might end up being a very important play. We'll also buy our tarot card, which is the fool, which is pretty much what I wanted. If it's not going to be the hero font, this gives us access maybe to a deal with the devil on the next floor. Smart. Well, it's not really like we had anything to do with it, but it's a smart play to, to stick with it. It was very smart to wait there. Rather than put ourselves in a position where we'd get exploded. Alrighty. Item room contains telepathy for dummies. 
That's real bad. I'm starting to think, like, this one's had some serious ups and downs. I'm starting to think we might get out of it, though. I'm not 100% sure how. But I think the, the elements of victory do exist on this run. Just not in any permutation I've seen in, in recent past. All right, so I'm hoping that we can just, you know, maybe pick up the quarter here, never have to worry about money again. Or an even better consumable. Yeah, that would be an even better consumable in my book. Could be a special room over there, but it also... Like, what could it be? A library. Okay. Do I really want Book of Revelations? Maybe? I feel like I'm sort of better off just sticking with uh, Blue Candle because of the insane damage potential it gives me. People may disagree. And this room wasn't even a library, so, you know, what are we, you know, flapping our gums about? This key. Could use it to open that golden chest back there, but I think it's kind of a not that intelligent play. Mostly I'm just coming through the rest of these rooms because I'm a fool. Yep, there it is. <laughs> I was like, why am I exploring? Because that's what you do. Yeah, but you're on Necropolis. Oh, right, yeah. The next floor is probably going to be a lot easier. We should just explore there instead. But we're going to just keep it up because maybe, just maybe, we'll end up getting something that's truly amazing. Although I doubt it to, to an extraordinary degree. Keys are nice, though. I'm happy about that either way. And this floor just goes on for freaking ever. This room has become one of the most hated ones in my uh, floor vernacular, lexicon, whatever. Both of those have to do with words. It just doesn't make any sense to me right now. But um, these have become some of the most hated rooms in Isaac. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? But that wasn't the room we had to worry about, apparently, as we head down to the next floor. Still alive, which I think is an enormous surprise. I'm going to open this golden chest. I don't feel so good about that. Yes, we could take the tick, but I think the safety cap is a lot more important for us. We got two keys for the next floor. Forget that golden chest in the mob trap room. What's my goal for this next floor? We don't really have control over it, but get over three spirit hearts. That would be huge. Then we get our deal with the devil. Oh. We have to go with blue candle. Are you... S oh. Automatically forced us to waste our key. It's okay because we can get a key out of this or we can get enough spirit hearts. But, um, that D6 is a wild one, isn't it? I don't know what to think about that. Judas' tongue doesn't even affect us here. Doesn't matter whether we have the Fool card or the Stars card. Oh, and you exploded already. Fantastic. Um, yeah. So hopefully we get another key. That's something that I am not going to miss in Vanilla Isaac. There are things that I will miss about Vanilla Isaac, presumably. And I won't know them until we actually get to the moment where I'm, uh, you know, recording Rebirth. But, uh... That's not going to be one of them. Wasting a key for absolutely no reason. Other than it being the game's engine. Is there something sneaky we can do now? Because we will have the Polaroid. After the mom fight, at least. We'll have the Polaroid. What do we do with it? I don't think we can steal deals with the devil, even with pro permanent Polaroid invincibility. That's so uh, useful. Uh, unless we um, have the HP necessary. I think that's just par for the course. That's part of the deal. Oh, well. For now, let's just focus on survival, because we do have the damage necessary to do this. Please be good. That's not good. Um, there are a multitude of ways that that is not good. The big one, and I think it's pretty obvious, is the whole, hey, we don't have the Polaroid thing. So I think this instantly just became a shoal run. Now, I could cheat. I could cheat, and I could give myself um, the Polaroid. But I think if the game screws me out of getting the Polaroid, I'm okay with doing that. I've done it in the past before. But if I kind of fuck up and cost myself the Polaroid, I think it's, you know, it's an honest mistake. I took a pill. I was desperate. The pill turned out to be bad for me. Kind of tough luck. Plus, I think it's a convenient excuse to go down a shoal, which people oftentimes like seeing. 
Sweet. And uh, I think that that's an appropriate kind of strength level for this run. I was wondering where uh, things were going to turn out for us. But hey, uh, here we have it. Shouldn't have taken that pill. Oh well. That's a mistake, but it is, you know, forgive me for saying so. It's an advanced level mistake. New meta is just don't take pills ever, I guess. Although, if we didn't take pills, we probably would have been in a much tougher position on this run considering the Balls of Steel and HP upgrade pills in the rotation. What a weird one. But anyway, I think we're in a very good position to beat Shoal. Can we beat Satan without taking damage if the time comes to it? Yeah, I think we could. Any chance this guy drops some uh, Spirit Hearts for us to mooch off so we can actually take a deal with the Devil? It's a good question that I don't know the answer to. Is this devil just or this death just has like a ton of HP? Is that the, his deal? Thanks for the. You gave me the wrong HP, man. I ordered the vegetarian meal. You gave me fucking you know ribeye steak, veal parmesan. I ordered the falafel sandwich here. You should be dead. Like I'm sorry to inform you this. Maybe that you find that to be an empowering feeling, but you should be deceased right now. Oh, okay, you just don't take damage from the candle anymore. I see how it is. It's gonna make it a lot more difficult to kill you. Yeah, you got like a pretty good thing going there, honestly. If, if I die here, I'm gonna be salty and faulty, I'll tell you that much. My favorite pavement album. Alright, well at least we got an orbital. I don't know. Yeah, there you go, you can't take it. I'm in a very confused state right now when it comes to Isaac, and you know what? I'm content with that. Goodbye, Judgment. I can't risk walking on you. Goodbye, Pill. You're not one of the two good ones that I'm loving right now. So we beat Mom without taking damage. Then we just go down to Shoal and we got like eight cracks to beat uh, Satan without taking damage. I think it's pretty much a foregone conclusion. This is going to end up being like a super short run as well, which... Oh, I got lucky there. In some ways I apologize for, but also at the same time... Oh, never mind. There go our bombs. Uh, but also at the same time, it's like... Shit, dude. I don't have control over it. I think that cube of meat might have actually saved our lives. So for all the complaints that I've, I give cube of meats late in the game, hey man, thanks for all you do that people don't recognize. I appreciate it, cube of meat. I'm on your side. Oh, careful. Let's take it. Hey, that would have been really good. I should go back for that, but I'm not gonna. All right. We got a ton of damage, but only three bombs. They are homing bombs. I'm not gonna use the devil card. We'll use that against the devil. Seems appropriate. Monstro's dead. All right, I think we're in a totally fine position here. I don't even think we would have needed to use uh, the bombs if I had thought about it a little closer. Now, don't take damage here. It's gonna be hard, easier said than done. But uh, if I don't take damage here, then uh, all of my progress is not lost for no reason. And, well, I guess we can go to the cathedral, but fuck it. Let's go to Shoal. Sounds like fun. Sounds like more fun. And now, like, I thought I was just going to give up there. I was like, well, I can die now. I know we have eight lives remaining, by the way, but... I am, uh... I'm ready to, to try this out. I'll try this on for size. I think we can make it work. I would love to beat Satan without uh, having to use one of our lives from nine lives. That would make me feel like we didn't get totally carried. And we didn't really get carried on this run at all. It's just been a surreal and bizarre one. Thanks for the quarter. That's going to be a big help in uh, Hell Shop. Population none because I just made it up at the top of my freaking dome right now. Thought that was going to be the enemy there. Yeah. I was like, I, I just kept thinking like if I shoot it, it's going to explode. So I just walked backwards and it uh, exploded. So we have no bombs. What a strange situation to have find our, found ourselves in. There we go. Now we can just walk over. You can just walk over it? Yes. Terrible impression of the angry video game nerd that I just made up. You can just walk over it. Hopefully we can go to the right here. Yeah, we can go to the right here. Oh, Tinted Rock. Oh, we can't blow it up! I was about to be like, GG! But no, um, we can't explode it. That makes things problematic. So this isn't over. We still need to beat... Well, we need to beat this room. But we still need to beat uh, Satan without taking damage. 
I'm really trying to get like that first blue candle shot out there quickly. I don't know. I think I might be screwed. I'm like trying to finagle my way in there, but we don't have any bombs. One blue candle shot's like not enough to get it done. I think now that I've actually like sort of established myself here, I've got a much better chance at it. Thank God. Oh, geez, we made it. Okay. All right, Satan. Let's do this. I've got no bombs with which to offer the Fallen to start with. That seems to be okay. Shots were just slightly occluded. Not enough to be super good for me. Okay. So even if we lose this one, I'm not crazy concerned until, um, you know, we get down to like zero lives. Because I don't think our damage is really what's carrying us here. Like our damage from... Um... Seriously? I know we didn't die there, but F off regardless. Our damage from... Oh my god. Run away. I'm so fed up. I'm actually like really mad at these vaginal bomb flies. Are you kidding me? Get out of there with your bullshit, man. Like, there, they're fine. But man. We were so close to actually just winning. I'm, I'm pissed. This is the most frustrated I've actually been by an Isaac run in a while. Not in a, like, it's, this is nice to be frustrated with the actual enemies that you're facing as opposed to like, oh, you know, I got the pink glitch or something like that. But also... I'm getting a little ornery. I normally don't lose my cool here, but I think uh, I got pushed into my like fight or flight response by that final kill where like the leg made it so that I couldn't see where the bomb fly was, and then it's just like, oh fuck me. I guess that time there was just no escape. I think we're just about to lose, and that's this is a weird run, man. Go. Very strange one, and that's okay. Strange runs are you know they make the world go round in Isaac. That being said, my salt levels are rising. Don't die to the Fallen. Let's take it in steps. Step one, don't die to the Fallen. Step two, don't die against Satan. Step three, hope that a bomb fly doesn't spawn right next to you. And if you can make that happen, hey, life's good. I'm not even going to bother using Blue Candle here. I think I'm just likely to screw it up. We'll let Little Chub do a lot of the work. We'll hang back. We're in feet territory again. Most important thing. Fuck those bomb flies. Five ever. I'm sorry I'm so quiet. But I have to be. Get away from me. Stay away. Yes. Oh, geez. Okay. That one really took it out of me. I'm going to go have a cigarette. I don't actually smoke. That just seems like something people do after they have a um, stressful encounter. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that run. It was batshit crazy, but hey, that's half the fun. Uh, if you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.